guys, another episode of the Cedric Show, and today I'm going to be talking about how Xbox One is a fail and how it's not. So I'm going to be listing features about how Xbox One is a fail and how it's not. Um, I got my brother over here. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, he's over here. Um, so it's a lot of, a lot of people say Xbox One is bad, a lot of people say PlayStation is bad. A lot of people say it's performing good, a lot of people say it's is good. So personally, I think they're both pretty good. But this video is about how Xbox One is a fail. Well, the first reason of how Xbox One is a fail, they um, tried to pass it so you can't have internet. You you have to be on internet all the time, and if you can't have internet, then you can't be online and all this other stuff. It's, it's really confusing, but... They tried to make it real bad for um, gamers who don't have internet connection to play games. Because they say you have to be on internet all the time. Which is bad. Now another reason why Xbox One is a fail compared to the PS4 is the P Xbox One runs on 720p, which is a very big... Hold on. Be right back, guys. Like I said, you don't have to, well, they changed it, so now you don't have to be online all the time. In my opinion, I think that that was bogus, what they was trying to do, and I didn't really like it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't. Back to what I was saying. The Xbox One runs on 720p, which is a very, very high quality. 720p is um, this, uh, really good. I'm about to show some pictures right here what 720p is. But the PlayStation 4 is better. They run on 1080p. But the thing about it is that not all PlayStation games work on 1080p. And that might mess up the console's looking. So Xbox runs on 720 to 1080p. Which means that some games might be 720. Some games might be 1080. The Xbox One versus PS4 in terms of graphics. You can tell that the Xbox One... Graphics are much brighter than the PS4 graphics. Like, people say that the PS4 graphics are darker and it looks more realistic. The Xbox One graphics are lighter. So, in my opinion, I think the lighter graphics is good, but it's bad at the same time. Like, you don't want to see no very bright colored blood in the video game, would you? So, that's compared to the PS4 and the Xbox One graphics back to um, the fails Xbox one is five hundred dollars and the PS4 is four hundred dollars now before you say haha PS4 is better because it's cheaper well that is kinda true but it's not at the same time PS4 you have to buy um, an eye separate but most people don't want to use the eye but the Xbox one they're like forcing you to have a connect so the connect is one hundred dollars. So they're pretty much forcing you to pay an extra one hundred dollars for something that we won't use. But back on that, I kind of understand because the connect is pretty much the biggest part of the Xbox One. With the whole Xbox do this, Xbox do that. Um, another thing, four percent of the Xbox um people who ordered the Xbox One had disc problems. Um, where their disc kept on making an ant eh sound. 4% of people did that, and some people even said that the Xbox One was smoking when they turned it on. Now, there's no facts to be proven or no, um, proof that the Xbox One actually smoked. But most people just think it's the PlayStation fans messing with us. Um, next thing about the Xbox One. Now, this is the last thing about how the Xbox One is a fail. Now, if you look back at my PlayStation 4 as a fail, I meant to um, say how PlayStation 4 is good, too. So, since I spent the whole episode talking about how it's a fail, I want to spend the, whole the next episode is going to be about how it's good. So, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. So, um, there's images on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 that shows the graphics, and I'll have them linked on the trailer. As always, the right side is the Xbox One, the left side is PlayStation 4. But like I was saying, the last reason why Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is a fail, I mean, not Xbox One and PlayStation 4. 
The last reason why Xbox One is a fail is because. Now, get ready. Get ready. Everybody listening? Is everybody listening? You can't play games from Xbox One, I mean, Xbox 360, on Xbox One without having to do. Without. Wait, wait. You can't play games on Xbox 360 on Xbox One without having an Xbox 360. So pretty much like if you have a X, if you have an Xbox One and it's the first time dealing with Microsoft and you can't play Xbox 60 games unless you have a 360 and I'll get on that in a minute but that's the last reason why I think Xbox One is a fail. Now moving on to how Xbox One is good. See you on the Okay side. guys I'm going to tell you how Xbox One is good. Now Xbox One, when they first came to the market, they came with all these different colors. They came with yellow, pink, red, blue, green. And what I mean by colors, I mean the console colors. And inside the console, you can color color all the icons and everything, too. Xbox One, you can also get it in wood, which is probably never before seen on the console before. They introduced wood using the iPhone, iPhone 5S and iPhone C. They had the wood case. Well, guess you can make the Xbox One look like a wood case now, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Next feature, or how Xbox One is good, I'm going to list three more features. Xbox One is good because it enters like an all-time experience. And what I mean by that is you can actually play PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Wii U. You can play those games on Xbox One. You can play those games on the Xbox One. So... You can play those games on the Xbox One. So what I mean by that is, when you, you see my brother leaving right now. When you, um, you, all you have to do is hook up the HDMI cord from the Xbox One to another console. Once you hook up that cord to the next console, just go to Xbox, watch TV, and you can play it. That simple, that easy. That is enough, that's the second reason why Xbox One is good. Now, the third reason about why Xbox One is good is it comes with a full headset. I like the PlayStation support. They got a one-piece. Xbox got a whole microphone. So, you're pretty much paying for your money. You ain't really wasting it. Fourth reason, Snap. Xbox One introduces something called Snap where you can play two video games. Like, let's say one of your games are loading and the other one you can play at the same time. You can watch TV while playing the game. It's all included. And I like that because... Let's say you're watching um, the Bulls game, and you're watching the Bulls games on your Xbox One. Somebody can send you a message saying, hey, you want to play 2K while, while we're watching the Bulls game? You can be like, yep, and you can do it. That's another reason why I like the Xbox One. Now, this probably is more than four, re four reasons. I wasn't really counting, but the last reason. Xbox One, it is really good in terms of graphics, like I said before. It might not have as good graphics as PlayStation, but it's okay graphics to start off with. This has been how the Xbox One is a fail and how the Xbox One is good at the same time. See you guys on the next video when I'll be talking about how PS4 is good and all the good features. And I'm going to post that video today. Um, Another thing, check out my other videos, my Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer where I use um, Pokemon Black Randomized, my um, Super Craft Bros videos, I'm going to continue that, my Hexit, all those other videos. And hit that like button at the, at the bottom of the video and leave a comment. See you guys later and peace out.